Hey, First Talent family. Pastor Mary Beth here. So it's been a pretty rough four days since um, the tragedy at um, the outlet malls here in Allen on Saturday afternoon. And since then, um, I think we are all still reeling and maybe rolling through a lot of emotions. I know that I have been rolling through um, emotions constantly. Shock, fear, anger, despair, frustration, sadness, bewilderment. I also know that um, even as I have been rolling through these emotions, my constant prayer has been, what is mine to do? What is mine to do as Mary Beth Hardesty Crouch, citizen of Allen, mom, wife, pastor of First United Methodist Church of Allen, which then leads me to the prayer, what is ours to do, God, as First United Methodist Church of Allen in response? Well, what I believe is that there will be much to do, much for us to do in the days and weeks and months and years to come in the aftermath of this tragedy. But today, right now, what I hear God saying to me that is mine to do is to make space for prayer. For all of us, for our community, prayer for those who died and for their friends and family, prayer for others, prayer for our community, prayer for us as a church. Now, I have heard some criticize and say prayer is, is just a passive response. It doesn't really do anything. Well, I disagree with that completely. Prayer is never passive. Prayer is, a, is an active choice to, to say to God, I can't do this on my own. I need you, God. I need you to be present with me. I need you, we need you, God, to, to guide us, to, to fill us, to use us, to um, um, come in us, to work through us. Uh, prayer is an active um, um, response that says, God, we know that you are the God who is good and you are sovereign and we want to cooperate with what you are already beginning to do in this. Prayer is never passive. Prayer is always an active response. And so there will be other action to take. And I know that God will be calling me to other kinds of actions in the near future. But today, I want to invite you to come and pray in our sanctuary tomorrow at 6.15. Tomorrow is Thursday, May 11th at 6.15 to 6.45 for a time of prayer for our Allen community and for all of us. Um, it is not going to be any sort of formal design worship service. We're simply going to create space for us to pray together. And that may mean that you sit in silence the whole time. It may mean coming to the communion rails. Uh, we'll have candles to light. There will be some scripture that's read. There will be Stephen ministers available and pastors to pray with those who need someone to pray with them. It is a time to act in prayer together. And if you can't come and be with us in person at 615, I, I encourage you, wherever you are at 615 tomorrow, stop and pray. Pray for those who are grieving. Pray for those who are afraid. Pray for those who are bewildered, lost. Pray for those who are angry. Pray for those who are frustrated. Pray, pray for those who are in despair. In despair. Our prayer is actively seeking God to lead us and guide us and to remind us that God is good and God is 
always going before us. I'm praying for you. Please be praying for me. Shalom.